Yo guys, what I mean, Patrick Lavar. So, super excited. Laptop is down, but I actually found an old power supply, and it's actually underwatered, so it's a little bit dangerous for my laptop. But, breaking news. I just found out uh, this app called, what's it called? What's it called? Motion Cam actually reco records in DNG RAW files. Now, if you don't know what a DNG file is, a DNG file is like a, a bigger file that stores a lot more data and you have a lot more room as far as uh, editing it. Uh, for example, if you ever use Lightroom and if, if your phone is able to do DNG RAW files, you can use the Lightroom mobile app and it will take DNGs and you can edit, you know, you can save a lot more data in the in the shadows and the highlights. If the highlights are a little bit clipped, you can bring them down a little bit. You just have more room. Those of you who follow my channel, you guys know I like to shoot on the Canon EOS M. And the reason I shoot on that because it can also record in 14-bit raw DNG files. And that's why I like to do that. DND, I mean, this is the closest we can get to like a real cinema camera, which is like the Black Magic cinema cameras record in uh, Log Raw. Log Raw, again, you have so much more room. You can change exposure and post. You can change color uh, balance and post. You, it's just like, it's the closest thing you can get to a real cinema camera, right? But this app called Motion Camera. It's a super experimental phase right now. Like they, I, I've got a APX or whatever those files are. You can down, I'll set. I'll put the link down in the description how you can download this. It's a little bit of a process. It doesn't even record audio, right? And, and let me tell you, DNG files are huge. Literally, like one one file, it could be anywhere from two to three megabytes. And you're like, that's not big, but yeah, check it out. I shot a nine second video clip, and it was six hundred eighteen megabytes. Nine second clip, right? Matter of fact, I just got back. I was outside and I was like, I cleaned off my phone. I had, I think, uh, nine gigs worth of space. So I went out to go shoot, got to the location, literally shot seven clips and that was it. Like my phone was full. My phone's like, danger, your phone and system OS can't run properly. Like the phone was to the limit. So these files are huge, right? But this is this program, this uh, app is in the early stages. To be able to do raw DNG files out of a cell phone, this is crazy, guys. It's fantastic. Enough of my jibber jab. I'm going to show you some of the results right now. And a lot of you probably like may not really see the difference or notice it. But trust me, there is so much more range in the uh, in, in post, like as far as the, uh, grading this. Now, you can't open these video, these files on your phone. Well, technically, you can, but they're just images. It's just one pick, one pick, one pick, one pick, one pick, right? It's a sequence. And if you take them in the DaVinci Resolve, DaVinci Resolve can handle DNG sequences, no problem. That's what I do when I film with my Canon. I always uh, export them as DNGs, import them into DaVinci Resolve, and then I can color grade using the raw capabilities of uh, Blackmagic. So it's the same thing here. I, uh, I basically downloaded them to my computer, and then I can grade them and export them back out. And like like I said, this thing is in, in early days early form like I'm just there's so much going on in my mind right now this is just I'm super excited about this last night I saw uh, was it a uh, mobile motion he had posted a a, a, a basic I can't even talk he posted something about it and then I was like what and I immediately went to the YouTube page and watched it the first raw raw video from a cell phone and I went and watched that and I remember I followed this company a while back but this was an early stage it didn't even have an app available to us so then I followed them on telegram and then I saw Oh, are we still recording? Yes. I followed them on Telegram, went down in there, and you can download a, a beta version, that, or not even beta, just you can download a version of it. And again, it's super crude, guys. It's like, it took me a while just to figure out where to, even where the files were going after I recorded a, a clip. And I, I figured that a whole process out. So for those of you who are interested and you really want to do this, there's, there's really nothing out there that I, can, I found out how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to load it in, how to record something, how to save it to somewhere where you can find it, how to export it out, bring it in DaVinci Resolve. And once you're in DaVinci Resolve, like you know, you can do the grading and do all that and stuff like that. So just keep in mind, this is early days, and this is like, oh man, this has got me excited. I never would have thought we'd be able to do some raw DNGs out of a out of a cell phone, and the quality it tells me, man, like the the, the range is fantastic. So let's take a look at this whole process. All right, guys. So I'm gonna quickly show you how I did this here. So I downloaded it from um, the the Telegram site, and for me, this is the Sam. I'm using the Sam. Uh, where's phone? I'm using the Samsung Note 8. So this is the process that I did. Uh, uh, APK file. I went down in here. Here's my APK that I downloaded. 
Uh, I, I installed it. This is going to be a fresh install. So it, it may ask you too, like this is not an official app. Do you really want to do this? This may be dangerous. I always check that on, right? So then I'm going to go ahead and install it here. And once it's done install, I'll get back to you. All right, it says app installed. So then I immediately here, I click open. And this is where I get super excited. <laughs> So once it's open, there's one other thing I go back here and do because I noticed it didn't. I go, I close out of the app again, right? Then I'll go into where the app was installed. For me, I can just click on this and hold, and then I'll go to app info. And then from here on app info, I also go down here to permissions, and I turn on storage because that wasn't on the first time I noticed it. So I, I saw that the second time, right? So then after that, we jump out of here, and then I'm going to go ahead now and open up the app. Once the app is open, I guess you got night, photo, burst, I don't care. I didn't use any of that. I made it straight to raw video. Click on raw video here. Warning, this is an experimental feature. I know. I know it is, right? So first, immediately here, you have this thing here on the crop. You can see resolution is at 4032 by 3024. Uh, I tried recording at that, and I was getting a whole bunch of drop frames. So immediately for me, what I did is I go to crop. I just cranked it all the way over, right? I didn't care. I just like crop it down to the most minimal settings, which is uh, 24, 16 by 18, 14. So then uh, for me, I went to frame rates, uh, 24 frames per second. So then here, I immediately will just go ahead and record a video. Uh, one other, let me talk you quickly on this interface here. So for me, I also did the, uh, uh, what is it here, exposure lock. I click on that and then I click on the 150, the shutter speed, because I want my shutter speed to be 50. You can use this slider to, to dial that in. ISO here, I guess that's assuming that's ISO, that's at a 100. Um, and then I'll just go ahead and record. Now, this is what was really confusing for me. Now you go to manage photos here. I and mean, you see here's the photo that here's the the zip file that of the DNGs and here this is process you click on this process and then you come to this page here and it's like nothing right so what I've done it's already saved it but I've I made a folder so I clicked on these three dots here made a new folder and first of all you gotta know where you're gonna save it so actually you probably want to click on this right uh, and then I went to Samsung Note 8 and then I went into my system folders and I basically went down to downloads and then when I was in downloads, I made a new folder and it's called raw video. Um, and then once that raw video folder was done, everything was ready. I hit select and it's going to select this folder. Now at the bottom, you see it says processing. So now it's basically taking this, I guess, compressed zip file and uncompressing it to the actual DNG sequences. And now it would actually appear inside of my gallery as soon as this is finished up uh, done. Now again, these, these files are huge, guys, so it will suck up your data in your phone in a minute. So make sure you got you have a clean, you know, clean off all your, your junk on your phone and stuff like that. And then it disappears, right? And I was like, oh crap, where did it go? I go into my files and then back out here, and then I'll go internal storage, and then I go down to downloads. And when I go back to raw uh, photo, there's two folders. There's two fo uh, folders here. If I click inside there, boom, there's all the raw DNG files. Fantastic. So from here, typically what I tend to do is I hook up my Samsung drive and I basically put everything on the Samsung drive because it's super fast and quick. And then I connect it to my uh, computer. Those of you who don't have that, you don't have to do this. Basically connect your phone to your computer. Go on your computer, go onto the system, same thing, go on your internal drive on your cell phone, go to downloads, go to your raw folder, and then the file should be there, and then you drag them on the DaVinci Resolve. All right, guys, so I'm inside of DaVinci Resolve here. Basically, I put all the files on my computer. Now, I'm going to grab this folder here. I'm just going to drag it into my thing here, and you see, boom, there it is. There are all the DNGs as a sequence here. And it basically, it's a little bit choppy on my laptop, and I've, DNGs are a little bit heavy also on my on my laptop. But there the sequence is. So now what I want to do quickly here, uh, I'm going to jump over here and I'm going to show you how I fix it, the cropping basically. Uh, drag it onto my timeline. So right now my timeline is set up for 1920 by 1080 HD. Okay. And then I also like to change my color management system to DaVinci Resolve uh, color management system. It's something new I've been working on. Um, so boom. That's what it basically looks like here. Now to get rid of these black bars, I basically just come down here to scaling and I go to uh, fit. Not fit, sorry, I go to fill. And then boom, there it is. Now, when you go to fill, you will have a little bit of playroom uh, up and down. So you could reframe your shot up again, like if you wanted to do something a little bit there. On the sides, we cannot. So I'm going to go ahead and frame mine up just a little bit like that. 
and basically that's where I want it so that's basically it right and if you want to go ahead now what I'll show you what I'll do as far as grading let me get to click on here and then I go to my grading tab now the power of D and G's is we get that raw option we go to camera then you click on this little camera here at the far left and then you go to clip now I have all controls of my raw raw dynamic control check it out I can exposure up look at that look at that look how much more exposure room I get you don't get this when you have a regular uh, uh, rec 709 video right from me off your phone uh, let me go ahead and reset that out of re reset okay good so basically what I would do to grade this here let me get to a position where I would say it's good okay about right there I get a little bit of the highlights so what I would do I'll come in here grab my lift I'll just lift those shadows up just a little bit oh one other thing I'll come to shot and uh, clip it's already there okay good that's set uh, and then I'll take my shadows and just kind of bring them back down a little bit uh, I like to do color boost I'll give this like 10 you got to be careful with this it can be too much uh, mid mid tones de uh, details I give that like a 10 and my lift again I'm trying not to crush my shadows too much but we got a lot more room to play with here now uh, my gain it was a little bit clipped here look at the top see that my levels here they were a little bit clipped out I can also go highlight recovery this is just we got so much more power and control right and I can just control let me pull my highlights down now they're clipping a little bit right so there's my highlights I got that control and then let me add just a little bit of contrast in there and then boom a little bit actually it's a little bit dark here on this side so I will come in here and let me readjust it let me lift up lift up just a little bit now this alleyway was already kind of dark because it was in the shade right so I want to want to keep that in so then if I wanted to go back to my color wheels I can just click over my color wheels and then again here we can just bring up the mids a little bit more bring up that mids and bring my shadows down a little bit bring up my gain and then I'll go Alt Z, go into my log wheels, and I can really crank on that grain, on the gain a little bit more highlights, and that's pretty much it, right? So there it is, boom. Now I'll just go ahead and export this out. Let me bring in one other clip to show you quickly here. Uh, let's bring in this clip here, and same thing. I'll just come back over here, drag it into the timeline. Again, this one was kind of also in the shade. Okay, and then again, come on the clip, go to scaling, go to fill, so it fills it all up. There we go, we got that. Just look at the look at the range, like the shadows. I got so much more range in the shadows, guys. You don't get this power with just regular uh, Rec 709 video. I keep saying that because this is I'm excited. I, I've already worked with DNG files before with the Canon EOS, um, and then again, I just go in here, click on the camera settings, go to clip, where's it? Uh, project, go to clip. And then that opens up so I have control of all these here. And again, I'm using the DaVinci Resolve color management system, which is a little bit different, right? And then let's say I can bring up my highlights a little bit more just to give a little bit more highlights in there. Again, I can bump up the color. And I see that time it's now looks like we can go into color balance. I can adjust my color balance a little bit bluish more there. Okay, right? I'm trying to get what I, what I was seeing in real life. Uh, my mid-tone details, I like to get that up. And uh, my lift, let's see if we can lift this up a little bit. It looks like the blues were clipping down on the shadows. And I'm bringing back some contrast back into the image there a little bit. And I can't remember, I think I also had my Pro Mist filter on. I did, I had my Pro Mist filter on with my ND filter, with my newer ND filter to uh, when I was shooting all these shots. I should have told you that earlier. So again, the contrast is not gonna be that heavy because I, using the Pro Mist filter is opposite of heavy contrast. It decontrasts the image. So that's pretty much it. And then boom, I'll have my image. Let me go full screen here, Alt Z. And then there, that's where we go. I'm not gonna get really good playback right now because I'm screen recording and they're DNG files. So, I mean, guys, this is fantastic. Good times are coming. I can't wait till this gets like fully more solid and man, it's gonna be awesome. So. I hope this helps, guys, and I hope you guys uh, take advantage of this. Let me know. Smash that like button down there. Give me some love on this video. I try to get it out as quick as possible. I literally saw this last night, and I'm already testing this. So stay tuned on the channel because I'm going to be playing with this a lot. I got some uh, another video that was actually school put to go up today uh, of me shooting with the anamorphic lens in MC Pro, but that got postponed because of this is such a, a big issue for me, like the DNG Raws. This is, this is big. This is big. So... Smash that email crew, hit that hit that email crew up. I got my mobile photography uh, lesson course coming out soon. It's almost finished. And uh, stay in the loop with all that. 
enough of the jibber jabber music's probably from art list or audio i'll have the links down below again there's no audio when you record these so i had to put over some uh, audio and everything so other than that catch you guys in the next one peace